Sandy Ha, and this is Thailand at large. Talking about traveling around the area that you would love to travel during the weekend and you don't have so much time like me, there's another interesting place I would like to recommend you is the nearest place to Bangkok and this is actually near the beaches and there are a nice tourist attraction that is unique and incredible. You have to come to visit this area, Chonburi Province. Chonburi is located on the eastern coast of the Gulf of Thailand. The province not only holds its economical importance for the country, but it also has a number of famous tourist destinations such as Pattaya Beach and Bang San Beach. Nowadays, it is very comfortable to get to Chonburi because the province can be reached in no more than a two-hour drive along the Bangkok Chonburi motorway, so you can easily take a day trip. Though in Chamri province there are many tourist attractions, especially beautiful beaches around here. But today I start our trip here with somewhere incredible and we'll start with this amazing place first. In the past, Khao Shi Chan was used as a source for blowing up stones to be used in the construction industry. It has an altitude of approximately 180 meters from base to summit. Feeling afraid that the mountain would be totally destroyed, His Holiness Somde Prayana Samvara, the Supreme Patresh, ordered to create a carved Buddha image on the cliff of Khao Shi Chan. The goal of the creation was to serve the mountain as an important place of worship in Buddhism and to commemorate His Majesty King Pumipon on the occasion of his Golden Jubilee. A budget of approximately 43 million baht was used in the construction. The first step was to resurface the cliff and measure the depth of lines. After that, the model of Buddha image was scanned using computer and then drawn onto the cliff of the mountain using a laser. The line edge Buddha image was completed in 1996 and cast in the subduing Mara posture. It is a combination of the Khoi Thai and Lana art styles with a height of 130 meters and a width of 70 meters at the lap of the image. This is regarded as the biggest line edge Buddha image in the world. Not far off the Khao Shi Chan is situated a very important and beautiful Wat Yana Sangwara Ram Wara Mahawihan. The temple, which covers an breadth of 366 rai, was built by His Holiness Somde Prayana Sangwara for practicing meditation retreats and monastic code of discipline. This ordination hall was built in honor of King Taksin the Great. The structural model of the ordination hall was built in the same style as Vihan Rangsi at Wat Bawon Niwet Vihan. In front of the stairway are situated black tiger statues carved from granite. The statues were erected as a memorial to the legend of two black tigers found nearby during a temple construction. Mm -hmm. 
inside the ordination hall resides the principal Buddha image built in honor of King Naresuan Maharaj the Great. The image is of similar size to the Pra Buddha Saihing statue enshrined at Wat Bawan Nived Vihan in Bangkok. Pra Baromata J.D. Mahajakri Pipat was constructed in honor of all the monarchs of the Jagri dynasty. It is a three-story pagoda with a height of 39 meters and a width of 39 meters at the base. On the first floor, there are temporary exhibitions. On the second floor, there is a platform of the Buddha's footprint replica, while relics of the Buddha and his followers are kept on the third floor. This is a beautiful drum tower whose structural prototype was built in the same style as Mahakan Ford. Located at the foot of the Pan Pha Li Lad Bridge in Bangkok. The building of this exquisite Tripitaka Hall is situated close to the drum tower. It was built in line with the ancient ideology associated with the construction of buildings in the middle of the pond to prevent ants and insects from destroying Tepitaka scriptures. The main building of the Tripitaka scripture hall is in the style of Thai applied art, resembling that of Wat Prasing of Chiang Mai in northern Thailand. This is a replica of Buddha Gaya Stupa, whose original structure was built in the same style as Buddha Gaya Stupa of India. The stupa layout was formed in a square-shaped structure with an equal length of width of 22.50 meters on each corner, encircled by cloisters and glass walls while ornamental plants are grown in the garden outside. The principal stupa has a width of 12 meters at the base and consists of seven platforms, each of which reaches a height of 3 meters. The picturesque scenery at the entrance to the reservoir also includes the construction of eight pavilions to honor King Rama IX, each of which has its own distinct artistic style. These pavilions are, for instance, in Thai, Chinese, or Western styles. Sattahip is one of the district of Chonburi province and the area is located right next to the sea. That's why they have so many beautiful beaches here and this is one of them called Ha Tei Ngam Beach. Tei Ngam Beach is among the best beach destinations in Sattahip district and is under the supervision of the Royal Thai Navy because there are lots of rose and pandanus trees, also known as Tei trees. The beach here is locally called Tei Ngam Beach. The beach 
stretches for many kilometers, but the visitor zone allowed by authorities is only about 300 to 400 meters. This lens can provide safety for visitors though. This fish has also held its historical importance when King Rama IX sailed his ship from Gai Gangwon Palace in Hua Hin District off Prajuap Kirikan across the Gulf of Thailand and came ashore here at Tai Ngam Beach on 19 March 1966. Apart from delicate white sand and indigo blue sea water, the decrease of sea level results in the extended stretch of the beach, making it ideal for a beach holiday. For this season, Tai Ngam Beach has become a tourist destination that you should not miss while in Satahi. here in Satahib district. Actually, there are not so many tourists around here and this year, as you can see, not so many tourists means really peaceful, so it's good for relaxing and also there are a lot of Pamira palm around the area, so people, local people are calling this place Beach Ao Dong Tan Ka. Dong Tan is one of the beaches for tourist groups who prefer going somewhere less crowded. The beach is lined with palm and pine trees along the shore line. So it is suitable for those who would like to find a spot to sit and relax under shade. The curve of Dong Tan Beach stretches approximately 400 meters because some island offers shelter against a windstorm. There is no strong ocean wave here. Therefore, Dong Tan Beach is ideal for doing many different types of water activities other than swimming in the ocean, especially sailing. home to a sailing club. A plenty of activities are held in order to learn and practice sailing from professional trainers. Sailing national athletes also come here for their practice. If you want to try sailing a boat to the neighboring islands by yourself, you can contact Sailing Yacht Thailand directly. Not far from Dong Tan Bay is where you can stop by to admire the magnificent battleships at Duk Samet Deep Sea Port under the supervision of Royal Thai Navy. We shall keep an eye on Sakri Naru Bay, the Royal Thai Navy's largest frigate. When there is no war, Saki Narubade is used as an operation base, protecting the benefit of the country's maritime areas, helping those who are affected, and saving the ocean environment. During a war, the responsibilities of this Korea are to control and has command over all the ships in the ocean to fight with enemies. Duk Samet Port, which is also called Satahib Commercial Port, has now become part of the infrastructure development for the Eastern Economic Corridor or EEC. 
There will be the development of the project consisting of six ports on a total area of 20,000 square kilometers. These ports are, for example, reserved for Royal Thai Navy's frigate, cargo ships, and passenger ships. Nang Ram Beach and Nang Rong Beach are situated not far from Juk Samet Port. The twin beaches are within walking distance in between. Apart from their tranquil and crystal clear sea water like a glass, the beaches are endowed with natural shaped stones which attract a large number of tourists who visit here for a holiday. Not far from the Chuk Samet port is a Chong Samet San fishery village located near many small islands. At these waterways, there will be small channels where boats pull alongside the dock. For this reason, the area here was called Chong Samet San. Chong Samet San also provides a habitat for multiple species of fish. Therefore, it has become a favorite spot among tourists who enjoy fishing. Wat Chong Samet San is an ancient temple that is not only a sacred place to attract people to come and visit, but it's also a place that you can see the beauty of Sat Pahib as well. Wat Chong Samet San, which was built during the reign of King Chulalongkorn the Great, is an ancient temple in Samet San district and has also been venerated by local residents of Chong Samet San for a very long time. Word has it that if anyone wants to pray for career growth or wants to wash away all of their inauspiciousness, they are recommended to walk under the ordination hall. That is why a large number of people visit here. As you can see here, this temple is really special because normally a temple is just like on the same floor but this one they have uh, underground for a little bit under so we can go inside, it's like going a little bit to a cave down the temple there and they said if you go there and walk around like three times, like three rounds it's gonna bring you good luck, so let's try that, I also have this one, let's go! In 2008, the whole structure of the ordination hall was raised at a height of 3 meters above the floor to prevent the repeated flooding problems. Buddhists believe that ordination hall is the most sacred area in the temple compound. For this reason, there is an influx of people visiting here in the hope that they will once get a chance to walk under this ordination hall. The ordination hall is also called Pra Rahu Uboso. This is because when walking from the back of the temple, you will see Pra Rahu statue erected at the exit gate. A large number of Thai people believe that worshipping Pra Rahu can provide them with both auspicious and inauspicious results. When worship, Pra Rahu will be helpful to relieve bad things or even turn inauspiciousness into a good result.
At the exit gate of the ordination hall is situated a mouse statue. Somebody told me to whisper a wish into the ear of the mouse and all the wishes will come true. Thai people believe that mouse which guards one incarnation of Hindu god Ganesha will help convey your wishes to Ganesha and also make all of them come true. Inside the temple compound is where you can also pay homage to many sacred images of different beliefs including the nearly 8 meter tall statue of Lord Brahma, a great Hindu god. It is also regarded as the largest Brahma statue in the eastern region. Traveling from Chiang Samasan village to nearby islands is a good choice of destination for water activities such as canoeing, beach sport, and snorkeling among coral leaves and ornamental fish. This island is under the supervision of Royal Thai Navy, which is why the number of tourists visiting at the island is restricted. They're also not allowed to stay overnight, but at least it would be enough for you to fully experience the sea here. After traveling around for one day, I have found some beautiful spots in the eastern Thailand. This is how my old attitude has changed. I used to think that Pattaya or Bangsan was the only destination while in Chonburi. But in fact, there is still a plenty of tourist attractions waiting to be discovered. Moreover, I'm delighted to be part of a storyteller who shares hidden things with everybody. Traveling today made me see the beauty of the ocean and the nature and also including how to preserve the nature to be with us, this abandoned rich nature to be with us as long as possible. And also I would love to recommend you to travel to this place to actually face it with yourself with the new experiences that you can find. And this is Thailand at large, Mima Ken Hager. We have to say goodbye for today. Sati Khaa!